Summer has just begun and I can already hear my kids saying, Oh, I'm hungry. Mom, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. So hungry, Mom. So I thought I'd give you the cheat sheet to quick and easy summertime lunch ideas for your kids and teens. And maybe even for yourself. You can thank me by watching to the end because I have a special free gift for you. You ready? Let's go. Number one, ham and cheese quesadillas. I have miss the basket, plop down that first tortilla, throw down some protein, some cheese, and the next tortilla, lightly spray. And if you've got a rack, pop that on top, or you can keep it closed with toothpicks. Pop it and air fry at 350 for four to six minutes. And that is perfection. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you can find these Just Bear Nuggets at your local Costco or grocery store, you got to snag them. Dump in as many as you want and check it out right on the bag. They have instructions, but I personally prefer 380 for 10 minutes. Oh, nice. Buy yourself some Chick-fil-A sauce or make your own. I have a recipe linked down below and you have saved yourself a ton of money. Ooh, how? Kinda. Drop it, pop it, and what does it say? For 310 minutes. Well, we forgot to rotate, but... That's okay. This one, you just need four simple ingredients. All right, so grab two bagels out of the bag. Go ahead and cut them open. Good job, good job. And by the way, this is on page 174 in my cookbook at yummyairfryrecipes.com. Now this is a little bit larger basket, so I think we can fit one more in there. Then you're just gonna spread that pizza sauce all over those bagels and go ahead and place pepperoni down or whatever type of protein you want. Then throw down all the cheese. Now it kind of helps if you kind of push it down a little bit, especially with this thinner sliced cheese. Pop it in the air fryer. You're gonna air fry this at 400 for five minutes. High five. Okay, pizzas are done. Oh yeah. Mm, that looks so good. Okay, give it a bite. Hot, hot. A little hot. I don't really Ooh. like pepperoni pizzas, but I'll try it. Mmm, nice and steamy. That was so easy to make. I'm making this every day after school from now on. This chicken tenders wrap equals easy. 380 for 10 minutes. Start button. Yes. That's fun, huh? Better check on these guys. Ooh, la la. Good. Four minutes left. Pull that out, use your tongs, set them on the plate, just cut it into bite-sized pieces. You're gonna put them in a burrito wrap, like a like tortilla. I think for this tortilla part, you might need a little adulting, because um, I don't know, maybe I'm just really bad at this. You just need to practice rolling up your tortillas. Got some frozen pizza, but you don't want to heat up your kitchen? You can totally make it in the air fryer. Simply remove the packaging and cut off the amount you want to eat. Place it right in your air fryer, you can put a rack on top if you're worried about cheese and toppings flying around and cook it at 400 for six minutes. Use those tongs. All right, Red Baron pizza taste test, go. Show this. Mm. You want my pizza? Uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. Toasted Uncrustables, ah, you know it. Two Uncrustables in the air fryer. 375 minutes. Go drizzle on some Nutella. This is up leveling your Uncrustables. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had grilled cheese in an air fryer, you are missing out. That crunch is amazing. Lightly spray your basket, or you could butter your bread. And I can totally fit four sandwiches in my 5.8 kasori. But for now, since it's just me, I'm gonna do one sandwich, throw some cheese on there. And then again, you could butter this side, or just mist it with the oil. Cook these babies at 350, usually about six minutes, and I'll flip them about halfway. Ah! It fell off, that's okay. After three minutes, flip it, just spray that other side. If something's flying around, we just put a rack over it and let it finish up. Okay, and if you want it more toasted, you can totally do that. This one's perfect for growing teenager boys that are always starving. For easier cleanup, line the bottom of the basket with foil, throw down that patty, 
pop it in. Air fry at 370 for 15 minutes. Want to make it a cheeseburger? Simply open that air fryer, put the cheese down, and just let it sit. Don't turn it on. Give it a couple minutes and booyah, there's your beautiful cheeseburger. Mm. Now my kids love ramen noodles, but I don't love the lack of nutrition. So here's an easy way to add a little healthiness. If you ever make a ton of chicken, you can slice it up and freeze it for later or buy one of these ready-made chickens and some vegetables that they'll actually eat. So just throw in however much you're gonna eat and then throw some veggies in right alongside. And depending how full your basket is, you can do it at 380 for seven to 10 minutes. While that's cooking, cook up your ramen noodles like you always do. Then drain your ramen noodles, throw on the chicken veggies, mix it up and season as you wish. That is a healthy and easy way to doctor up your ramen noodles. That was Jomi. Now go clean your room. As a thank you gift for watching to the end, I have a brand new free printable just for you. It's an air fryer quick cooking guide. It lists out about 20 common foods with the time and temp to air fry the mat. Hang it inside a cabinet, and then when your kids say, oh, I'm hungry, you just point to this list and they can do it themselves. What on earth are you gonna do with all that extra time? How about this? Or this? Or maybe this? Go to yummyairfryerecipes.com forward slash quick to get this free download. Click here for more easy and healthy kid-friendly recipes. And you might want to have your kids watch these 12 air fryer mistakes so they don't make them either. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.